this life gets to me and it's hard to control I hold it in so you can see my life Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. I'm Susan McCord. Today we're going to talk about your partner giving you the silent treatment whenever you have a fight or an argument or something that they just don't want to discuss. How do you deal with this? This is a horrible way to live if you have a situation every time there's a disagreement or your partner doesn't like what you said and all of a sudden they just shut down. They go in the other room, they barely talk to you and this goes on for like sometimes, you know, a day or two days what do you do here? How do you get past this so that you can get back into normalcy in your relationship? So it's not a good situation for either of you because you as the partner that isn't being spoken to, you may not even know what you've done. All of a sudden there's just this quiet, maybe yes, no answers back and forth between the two of you and you're trying to figure out what the hell happened. How did we get to this place again? And the person that's giving the silent treatment needs to say to themselves, how is this going to work for me? What am I gaining out of this? A little control for a couple of days while I'm the one that's, you know, calling the shots in the relationship because I'm not talking to them? This is not a good scenario to put yourself in on either sides of the coin here. Because why are you controlling your partner to the point that you're not going to talk to them and make them walk on eggshells, make them squirm, make them trying to figure out what the hell they did so they become insecure within your relationship. This is not communicative. You need to sit down and talk to each other about this. It's not fair to keep putting somebody in the basement, so to speak, or the dungeon, whatever you want to call it. You want to know that when you have a disagreement or there's something that maybe you said that wasn't very nice, but you didn't realize how it came across, you're, how do you know how to fix this if you don't know what the problem is? So whenever there's a situation with you as a couple where there is a fight or a little bit of an argument or disagreement, whatever you want to call it, you really have to get to the bottom of why it's not being resolved. You're not going to have to agree on everything all the time and nobody's telling you that you need to do that. But you shouldn't be punishing your part partner. Don't punish them because they said something you don't like or, or you heard something that you thought was there, the only way you're going to move on and keep your relationship on a really strong pace is if you communicate. You don't shut down and go and hide in a cave until you figure out that, oh, okay, maybe I'll talk to them today. Why would you do that? How is that going to benefit your partnership long term? All it's going to do is make them not want to come home. So if you are the kind of person that can't communicate and you just shut down and turn away from your partner, you got to figure this out because it doesn't matter what relationship you end up in down the road, you're going to have the same problem. You need to learn how to talk. You need to learn how to share your feelings with your partner. Think about a way that you can figure out how to communicate your hurt, sadness, whatever it is is going on with you that you feel you have to completely shut down. Because when you figure that out, you can talk about things and they won't get into these big, long, drawn out, silent treatments. Because it's not a good way to live. It's actually quite abusive in some ways. Anyway, I think this is really a good topic because it's, it's more common than you think. A lot of people don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to talk to their partners. So they figure if they give it a few days, Ah, it'll all be forgotten and then you can just resume as normal. How do you resume as normal when you haven't figured out what the problem was? <laughs> you know, it's just going to keep coming back. So anyway, thanks everyone for tuning into my show today. Please leave your comments and subscribe to my channel. And any show topics you have at any time, please send them to me at dearcybersue at gmail.com. Thanks everyone.